Hello and welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, where we tackle the random game. If you're new to this, if you look at the description below, there are links to lots of playlists on more Solitaire. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that too much. I'm more interested in ending this two-game losing streak and trying to get up to 41%. I don't think today's win is going to do that, if we get it, of course. Uh, I'd like to play columns first, so we're going to go for that. And we'll see how this plays out here. we get two fours and a five. Let's see where this four leads us. Almost an open column. That might be a viable route. And that might not. We'll see. <coughs> oh, yeah. We're probably going to open up the column here. Uh, let's see what's under this ace. There's the three hearts. We can play that. So, typically, I save the first card for insurance. But given what I've seen here, I'm not going to do that. And we'll see if we can uh, make this a winning strategy here. So, now we have a spot for the king. Do we have, an, uh, we have another king? Okay. So I'm going to leave that tabled for now. Got the three hearts as my new insurance card. Play the queen. Was there a red? Oh, there was uh, two black kings. Okay. We can bring down the seven. Let's see what else we can do. Six. Okay, that's good. Open column. Two open columns, that is. Now we can play this king and three. Oh, we got open column there. Okay, we've got two eights we can move. Let's see where this one leads us. That could be viable. Let's see where this one goes. That's interesting. That is interesting. Let's go back here. Oh, we can't move this here. Ah. I wanted to move the other eight, the red eight. I don't know which one to do. I really don't. I'm going to wait on that one. And we'll see here. Uh, six we can play there. Okay. Three of diamonds can play. Ace of clubs will be a big card. We'll see if we get to that. Again, we got the three of insurance. A big part of being able to, to uh, beat these games or solve these is being able to manage the draw pile, how the cards flow out. So we've moved two cards so far. There's three cards. We're going to be... Oh, no. We're going to want this nine, not that nine. We're looking for the ace of clubs. So we moved... Was it three cards or two cards? I think. I'm trying to lost track here. All right. Let's go back a little bit here. I think we have to put one of these back. Oh, no. We have to do them all in sequence. We had to do them all in sequence. Because <clears throat> you can't play the jack if you don't play the queen. I think we don't play this 10 here, so we can get to the Ace of Clubs. Let's see if that works. Managing the draw pile is a big part of being able to, to solve these games, like I said. And it's much easier said than done. Much easier said than done. Let's see here. So the 4 can be played. We're going to play this 2 of Clubs right now. Next time around, we're going to play that 10. The idea is to have both 9s down. And then we can play the black, the red eight under this uh, column right here. There's a red eight under there. So that's my current line of thinking. So that's what I'm working toward. Here we are, a 10 and a 9. So we got both 9s down. Okay, so we move the 8 here. Oh, no, we didn't want to do that 8. We wanted to do this 8. Now we get the 8 there. 3 of spades, 4 of spades. That's big for us. That's big. But is it enough? That's the question. And I don't know. We need to figure out these columns here. We do have the insurance card. We do have the 10. We can bring this king down if we need to. Oh, I think we can. I think we can do all of that in one sequence. This would be our new insurance card uh, because we'll have a red king down. So normally I don't play all three of these cards at once, but this is going to be the exception to that because I still have this queen as insurance. Let's see what else we have. Uh, four hearts there. Getting close here, getting close. We have this queen too. I don't want to touch that one though. We'll see here. Nine, can't play. Oh boy. I kind of want to play the five of spades too. So we play that. There's a five of spades. Was it nine? Of, okay, yeah, we can get to the five of spades next. So let's see where this jack goes. That's not the best. Not the best. Uh, we're getting close, though. We're getting close. I hope. I hope. Because I want to end this losing streak here. Uh, seven we can play. 
10 we can play over here, of course. Play the five of spades and the nine right there. We get the eight going here and the seven, six. Let's see, four can go here. Maybe, we'll, oh no, five can go up there. Oh yeah, that's good. There are red, is there a black queen? Another black queen, I think there is. There is right there, okay. So we'll see on the side of the jack again. And I think we're going to get this done here. Let's see. Six of hearts there. Six of diamonds there. And we are going to solve this. Pretty cool. Ending the street here. But it's not going to be enough to get to 41%, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, we did. Back to 41. Back to 41%. Cool. That's the highest percentage I've had. I started at like 16% or so for my first thousand games. And then slowly, slowly dragged it up. But a big reason why I was able to do that is I did this uh, solitaire complete tip guide. I've got a specific link to that in the description below. I took, I made that for over a period of six months. I tried to save the best games, best examples, and stuff, and make them as clear as possible. I, I did this a little bit later. This is a less condensed version. This one's like 36 minutes long. This one's I think 26 minutes long, 25. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, I've got links in the description below to a playlist. Let's play Solitaire. That's uh, today's game's going to be in there. So anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching and wish you good luck.